I am Chris Quaddle. Welcome, I'm Max. Nice uh, meeting you. It's been a while since I've been in this dimension. Um, interesting. I know very little, I apologize. Usually I prepare, but this time I thought that it would be nice if I invited you without having additional information. What did you want to know? Um, I guess the only uh, link is between you and, and uh, Yeshua, Jesus, Jesus. Um, are, are you connected to each other? In some ways, yes. Can you tell me more? We do the same kind of work. Uh huh. We bring belief systems to the people. Mm -hmm. We work together in some ways to develop understandings one to another. In this realm, I was not as effective in mm -hmm. doing that, but mm -hmm. Jesus was. Mm -hmm. I was more feared than loved. He was more loved than feared. And that was a great advantage. Um, the people so, of this world do not appreciate serpents. Mm -hmm. They do and give them great power, but they do not give them great movement among the people. but they do respect their energy. Uh, are you different from uh, Dracos? Yes. I see. I am more from a different perspective of Draconians. I am a serpent and not a dragon. I see. Um, there is a, in many cultures, there is a legend about twin serpents, and um, I, 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 I listened to a book where it was suggested that twin serpents are DNA, and yeah. I wonder if you are related to them in any way. If you see the Hippocratic Oath, it comes with a symbol with two snakes intertwined around mm -hmm. the base of the pole. Mm -hmm. And so that is from mythology or from legend that twin serpents are about health. You can take the venom from some serpents and make it to use medication. You can take the poison from some serpents to use as an antidote for the same thing, a snake bite. This is how medicine works. So yes, we are part of a medical advancement, if you will. Mm -hmm. So uh, why did uh, many of the cultures uh, vanished from, uh, from the America? Uh, was there like a, I mean, the, the Christians came and the Mayans basically merged with them and some other people they just kind of lost their culture. Why did it happen? What was the purpose of that? They were not a fighting people. Uh -huh. They were a peaceful people. Uh -huh. And when these other cultures came in, they were violent. Right. And they were aggressive. And these very calm, loving people did not want to fight them. 
and did not want any problems or confrontations. Although many did stand up for their beliefs, they were cut down because they, the intruders had weapons. The only weapons that the peoples had that were aboriginal to this continent were those weapons to hunt animals for food and those things that used for building and tools. They did not have weapons such as those that came in that could shoot and discharge. Although they were advanced emotionally beyond these ruffians, they were not advanced in their technology to protect themselves. So I heard that Mayans went to return back to, uh, to play this. Uh, yes. I wonder if maybe other, other, other tribes especially. also moved. Yes, the Incans, the Aztecs, they all returned to their origins at some point. Remember, there was some people from this world that they did interact with. Those moved away. The others moved in their ships out of the land. Once their leaders were gone, the people dispersed. Uh, there was um, uh, basically a revelation by just a second I'm, I'm blanking on his name yeah. all right uh, I'm blanking on the name um, Terence McKenna yes uh, so the revelation by Terence McKenna that uh, there was a split in timelines and there was another timeline where the Christianity didn't pick up, didn't, wasn't, wasn't, didn't become uh, dominant. And in the other world, the uh, Greek, uh, Greek Roman uh, culture merged with uh, American culture and uh, they, uh, they didn't, uh, the, 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 the Greek Roman didn't, um, basically the merge was more uh, friendly and uh, they united much faster and the world was united and it lived uh, in much more peaceful way. It is so, possible that this could have happened. There are multiple timelines that overlap for one reason or another. Some are tampered with and others move on their own because of different kinds of energy disruptions. So this is a possibility, but I was not around to witness that. Hmm. But it is Terence McKenna must be aware of that in some way that is palpable or provable. Uh, basically, that that idea uh, illustrates the the negative role of Christianity in history. Although the idea of uh, Christ, Jesus was great, but of uh, Yeshua was great, but but uh, when it became a, a fighting force, it. Uh, it still creates lots of wars. Correct. It depends on how the people accept the information, what happens to it. You see that although they did not really accept Jesus properly, that the outcome of his death was a martyrdom and they be began to learn more about him. 
because of that. That is the only way that he became who he was, is that he had to be martyred. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little more about, uh, about your life. Uh, how much of it was on, on Earth? Not much. A few years here and there. But uh -huh. very memorable ones because the people, of course, would m remember a flying serpent and would write about it and remember it and tell stories about it to their family, friends, and children. It was carried on by, in their legends and in their stories for many hundreds of years. But I did not have much to do with them because they actually rejected me. Hmm. So what was your role? My role was there to come and see what was happening with them and offer my assistance if I could help. But they did not really want my assistance. But they did go along with me to some extent because they were afraid of me. But I saw that and I, that is not why I came. I was not coming to influence them with fear, but influence them with a thought process of goodness and kindness. But they were not willing to give me enough opportunity to show my Benevolence. Are you still in the body? Am I still in what? The snake body? Yep. I am not in that body at this time, no. Uh huh. Tell me more about that uh, species and culture. What culture did you come from? My culture mm -hmm. was. Uh, related to the Naga cultures. Mm -hmm. But yet we were not the Naga cultures, but we had much in common with them for they were snake people. We were snake birds in mm -hmm. a sense. We had the reptilian, um, what are they, pterodactyl kind of creatures. Uh -huh. They were bird, bird reptilians. We were bird serpents. Uh -huh. And we um, are from, well, not the Andromeda region at, at the beginning. We do have homes there now. Mm -hmm. But we started in a galaxy very far away. Mm -hmm. What else would you like to know? Um, did, you, did your species um, uh, interact with humans uh, except you? Like, were there, were there other snakes which would interact with humans? There was more than just myself that came uh -huh. to this planet. Yes. Uh -huh. There were others in Egypt we came in a different way. We saw that the way that I came to the Aztecs and Inc, uh, not Incas, but the Aztecs uh, was not proper. Right, so what did you do in Egypt? Energy wise, we changed when we went to the Egyptian culture. Uh -huh. We became a little bit more subtle. Uh -huh. We did not interact with the people as much, but only with those of our own alien species and other alien species. I see. Uh, did you also go to China? Yes. Because in China and Japan, there are like some flying dragons which look like snakes. Yes, we were in the Orient for a while, yes. Mm -hmm. So what was your mission on Earth? What was, uh, 
we were trying to spread some information and benevolence, but mm -hmm. the other cultures and species were already here doing that. We wanted to show them our brand of civilization and culture and ritual, but it was not to be on this world. I see. So what what is this? So what what is um, different about your culture and ritual? We are very large beings, and so as we are from a very large planet, we have much room to move about and much room to inhabit that areas. So in coming to this planet, we saw that we were much too large to influence the people in our ways. So we decided not to attempt it after a point. Our influence on the Chinese culture, as you call it, was much more direct. There were some portions of our people that found that the Chinese were more violent toward us. They had more weaponry. And so we uh, took to fighting with them to some degree, but decided that that was not viable any longer. Um, so what's different about your culture? Well, we do not have children the same way. We lay uh -huh. eggs. Right. We do not, uh, we do, we are not the same as you in our dietary needs. We mm -hmm. are not the same as you in our home needs. We use caves and dig holes and make our homes in different ways than you do. None of these things you could benefit from, really. We do, we are kind and good, but there was no way to show how good and kind we were to your people, for they feared us and would attack us. Mm -hmm. So we left. Tell me about your magic. What about it? Your magic is somewhat different than ours. We are from a different place. Our world has a different kind of magic. It's similar to this world's magic at some points, but not completely. Um, Our magic is much more easily used. We can manipulate energy much more easily from where we are from. When we came to this planet, we could not manipulate the energy as well. We could fly still, which was a benefit to us, but we could not conjure things as we used to. This was a liability to us, for we could not protect ourselves as well. We were not here to fight with the people but we were here to learn about your cultures and have them learn about ours. But the time was not right for that. What, uh, what, is your, what was your dimensionality? Our dimensionality was fourth dimensional. Uh -huh. Or some people would call it fifth density. Okay. So what is that... Uh... What are you working on? Your species, are you still uh, in, the, in the same dimension? We have graduated to higher dimensions. Oh, I see. But I am no longer in that species. I, I am in another species at this time. I have chosen a more humanoid incarnation. Wow. Are you connected to Earth in any way? No. I see. So how did it feel to move uh, from uh, a flying snake to a humanoid? Much better, actually. <clears throat> oh, 
the life of a flying snake, as you call it, is difficult. Even though we did have our magic and our cultures and our benevolence and goodness for one another, it was a difficult life. Our world was a harsh world. Oh, much wow. warmer than yours and much more violently volcanic and seismic. Oh, wow. But what was the goal? What was the mission of uh, Flying Snakes? The mission you... was to come and learn as much as we could about your peoples, but also interact with them in a benevolent way, which never happened. I see. Um, uh, the, 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 the Earth humans, we have uh, seven chakras, and our lowest chakra is... Uh, at the end of our tail, which is like almost non-existent. Uh, so the snakes are way longer. So yeah. how many chakras do you have? Energy fields are outside of the body. You have 12 energy fields that are, are in action at this time. Uh -huh. They are just not over the body in all places. Uh -huh. With us, we have the same amount, 12 mm -hmm. chakras. However, they do cover and are over the entire length of the body. Right. So I just wonder, uh, because your, your lower chakras are in the body, maybe you're more connected to lower levels of existence. And that's we are why to higher and lower levels. Right. When I was a flying serpent, I was connected to many levels of understanding in the universe. Uh -huh. We were able to travel through portals in time. We were able to magic use magic in ways that uh, you your populations cannot use it. And therefore, that helped us a great deal because we did not have the use of our hands the way you have your hands. Mm -hmm. We can use them or could use them, but they were not as pliable. Mm -hmm. So therefore, magic was necessary for us in some ways to get what we needed. I was thinking that um, somehow the snakes uh, and uh, reptilians are associated in our culture with a uh, uh, darker level of existence with underworld. Yes. And I was thinking that when, uh, when humans astral travel to underworld, they saw you there because you have lower chakras and it's uh, natural for you to perceive it. And for humans, because we don't have a tail, we are disconnected from the underworld. This is correct. You can perceive our lower chakras. Your root chakra is actually not a root chakra for us. It would be one of the more middle chakras, as the heart is still the center of our world and of all of our chakras. We still have greater use of the higher chakras and the lower ones as well. They can be detected by your people because they are stronger and more in use. Uh-huh. So, um, how do you see the role of the snake energy in the future of the humanity? Snake energy has never been accepted as a positive energy on your world. Not completely. I see the role of the snake as one of a, a great difficulty. They will have to prove over and over again their kindness and goodness to your people because you have preset ideas about what serpents are. All right. The Naga think, uh -huh. are the first to reach out to the humans 
in a very friendly way and have been more accepted than any of the other serpent beings. They have shown themselves in the Incan culture and were accepted to some degree because they did some very helpful things for the people. They, at one point, one of the Nagas stopped the flooding in one of the areas and then the people realized that they were positive beings. And they realized that they could worship almost this particular group of Naga beings because they were more powerful, but they weren't there to be worshiped, but they were there to help the people. Thank you, that helps. I invite uh, Nagas to come someday and uh, talk and to meet. I never met Nagas yet, on uh, through Jim or anyway, any other. Nagas way. are more humanoid type of serpents. They I walk see. on two, two legs and have oh. arms, but they have a serpent head and a serpent body. Wow. That's interesting. Uh, that's all I have prepared for now. Uh, thank you very much. I invite your blessing, uh, exit blessing, and uh, if you can bring uh, George Gamma for uh, Nikolai Timofeev Rysovsky, that would be great if they're available. I wanted to talk to them about science. One moment, and I will give a blessing before I leave. Thank you. May the great light always shine on you. May it forever be with you. And may your energy be uplifted by the energies of the universe, which is God in its essence. May you understand that you are fragile beings and not try to become leaders of the universe but become a team with all those that are around you in many different bodies, shapes, and sizes. We ask that the lights of the universe also warm you and keep you safe so that you may have a safe travels throughout the galaxy as you turn with that, those galactic years into greater beings and become part of a greater essence with others that are wanting to acknowledge their presence and your presence together. I understand. Thank you very much. That's you a great uh, message. I will bring someone else. Thank you. One moment, please.